Hey guys, I'm making a ham and potato casserole today made from leftover ham from Thanksgiving. Here is my leftover ham, so I'm going to put it aside. And first, we're going to take these potatoes and put them in a pot and boil them until they are tender. I'm just going to add a pinch of salt to the water and then um, we'll be adding seasonings to our casserole when we start to make it. So let's go ahead and get these potatoes cooking and when they're done, we'll drain them and put them aside. Okay guys, here is my leftover ham from Thanksgiving. It does have some fat left on it, so what I'm going to do is trim it up just a little bit, take some fat off of it, and cut it into small bite-sized pieces. And then after I'm done, we're going to throw it in the skillet to be cooked with the onion. Okay, it looks like our potatoes are done. They are nice and tender. You don't want them too mushy. So let's go ahead and drain them and put them aside. This casserole is very easy to put together. It doesn't take no time at all. I think the whole time I spent on this casserole was a good 45 minutes. Uh, just enough time to cook the potatoes and get it in the oven to brown. And that's it. So our potatoes are done. Let's go ahead and start uh, making up our casserole. Okay guys, over a medium heat, go ahead and put down three tablespoons of butter and let it melt. Now that it has melted, go ahead and throw in your ham and onion together and we're going to saute this for about five minutes just until the onion is translucent. Okay guys, the ham and the onion are done, so let's go ahead and pour our potatoes um, into the pan with the ham and the onion. And go ahead and give her a mix and make sure it's well incorporated with each other. If you would like, uh, you can add more seasoning to it. Um, I find that the ham and the butter is salty enough, so I didn't add any more seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and just stir this up together and make sure it's well incorporated with each other. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, baking dish and start transferring it into the baking dish. Okay guys, here I'm spreading out uh, the mixture into the baking dish. Um, before I put it inside the baking dish, I did spray it with nonstick spray uh, because I'm going to put cheese uh, on top of this so I didn't want it to stick so go ahead and transfer all contents of the skillet into the baking dish and we're going to start on our cheese sauce okay guys I'm going to start melting uh, this butter this butter is four tablespoons of butter and I'm going to go ahead and melt it into my pan. And this will be the uh, start of our roux that we're going to have to make. So go ahead and make sure you melt all of your butter so we can go ahead and add our flour. Okay guys, our butter is melted. We're going to grab four tablespoons of all-purpose flour and put it into the butter. You want to make sure you stir this continuously just to make sure it doesn't scorch. And you want to make sure all of that flour gets dissolved inside the butter just like this. 
And then we're going to grab one and a half cups of milk and pour it right in. And after you pour the milk, just make sure you're uh, whisking or stirring the um, flour into the milk. That way you won't have any clumps remaining in your mixture when it starts to thicken. This should only take a few minutes. Um, it will become thick rather quickly after the milk starts to heat up. Okay, you see it's starting to thick up now. So I'm going to go ahead and just stir it just a little bit more. I'm going to turn off the heat. And after I turn off the heat, I'm going to grab 8 ounces of cheddar cheese and pour it right in. And just stir it until the cheese is all mixed up in with your um, milk. And um, once that's all uh, mixed up together, we're going to pour it on top of our casserole. Okay guys, this looks all melted and mixed in rather well, so let's go ahead and pour this on top of our casserole. Okay guys, here's our casserole and we're going to grab our cheese sauce that we made and we're just going to pour it over the top of the casserole and it's a little bit thick so what you want to do is take your spoon and just spread it out evenly over the top of the casserole. The last thing that we're going to do after we spread out our cheese sauce is put one fourth of a cup of breadcrumbs on top and then pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay guys, I put my breadcrumbs on top. I used the Progresso uh, breadcrumbs and I'm going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes or until browned. Okay, she's all ready to come out of the oven. Here she is, all bubbly and nice and browned. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. It's a nice and quick way to use your leftover ham from Thanksgiving. And I hope you try this recipe out, you guys. Let me know down in the comments if you like it. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. I love you guys.